Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today on Sip the Tyler Films, we're going to take a look at Caillou Blue Kelly, cornerback from Stanford, our fifth round pick in the 2023 draft. Uh, even though we just picked up Rocky Sin, I still needed to take a look at Caillou Blue Kelly and see what kind of skills he brought to the table. Let's do that right now. Roll the intro. With all right so let's get this started before we get started if you like the video like the video hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed and also hit the bell so you can be notified when these videos drop throughout the rest of the 2023 off season but let's get started on caillou blue kelly cornerback from stanford 6'1", 188. Let's go. Now, I watched two games on Patreon. Uh, I watched USC and UCLA, the two uh, Los Angeles teams. I had some clips from UCLA, but USC was a better version of what Caillou can be because he went against Jordan Addison, who was the fourth wide receiver taken in the 2023 NFL draft. So these clips all came from the Stanford versus USC game. And um, some of the clips are versus Jordan Addison. One or two are not. But let's get into it and see what we see out of uh, Caillou Blue Kelly. He's number 17 on the, in the video. See him at the bottom of your screen. And he's aggressive. They got a little RPO you know, screen. And right now, Caleb wants to throw the ball. But he can't because Caillou blew through that block and could potentially pick it off or um, tackle the wide receiver. And if you don't believe me, just, just take a look right here. I'm going to see if I can stop it. That's part of it. He crashed. Oh, hit the wrong thing. He crashed. So now he's going to pull it. And then he threatens him. And so now he want to throw it. But when he raises up to throw it, at that point, Caillou is already beating that block. And he just really just got to eat it. All right. That part's gone. They chased. All right, I'm a, I can't run because three sitting there. Now I'm going to raise up and throw it. If he look to go throw it, he can't because Caillou's there. He just ate it. Aggressive. I like it. I like it so far. Post snap communication. They run in zone. Watch him. Look at him communicate to the other guy. That's you, 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 you. Because he know he got this underneath guy. Making sure he got the guy. And again, quarterback looks a different direction. He goes with it. No sense of guarding that guy and the quarterback's not even over there. But I like the post snap communication. You're definitely going to have to do that in the NFL. That's, that's a trait that's Really not talked about a lot, but it's very, very important when playing DB in the NFL. Especially with all the match coverages and stuff that they do, you got to be able to communicate post-snap. And for him to be able to communicate post-snap, he got to know what he's doing. That's another part I forgot to mention. He got to know what he's doing. And in fact, just point it out. Just, it's route combinations. Understanding route combinations. He pointed out to the safety who he got and where to go. And he was underneath it enough to help the safety out. It's good, good communication. Like I said, I saw one report say he's rarely out of position. Rarely out of position. Then off man. Now, this is where the 4-5 kind of hurt him. Addison got up on him quick. Right there. Now they even. So you know what happens when the receiver even? They leaving. They got a deep post over top. Addison separated from him. And he didn't finish. He didn't finish. Gave up the big play. They were the big player. But that's just one big play. It, it's, it's not like this, this. his film is peppered with big plays. It is not. It is not. But again, that 4 or 5 speed, kind of, that's where it hurt him at right there. Because Addison got up on him quick, got even with him, and just ran away from him. But you got to finish. You got to finish him. Even if you get a big play up, you got to get him on the ground by any means. All right, you get a big play up. Okay. Okay. That's that part you can't do nothing about. Got to get him on the ground right here. You got to. You got to, by any means. But let's go to the next one. Prep man technique. Now, his man technique is peppered all over the all over the uh, tape. He is a good man corner as long as he gets the initial jam. As long as he gets the initial jam, and it don't even have to be the jam, just enough to, to slow you down. Look at him get right in phase, right in the hip pocket. So it gets up, un undercuts the, over, the deep over route because he know he has... Safety here and safety here. So he can play up under that route. 
He could play up under this route all the way across the field. Because if you throw it over top, if Caleb tries to get the ball over top, you got safeties there. And he knows that. Again, smart dude, rarely out of position. O- only flaw I've seen so far is he's four five two. And, but even though that's still fast, everybody thinks four three, four four is fast and four two is not. I mean four five is not. It is, it just ain't lightning speed. Next up, physical. Physicality. And I'll, I'll you know, shout out to Big Reg on this one. Big Reg was the first one to tell me he was a phys- physical, physical DB. Again, and, and and this receiver slips a little bit, but still, look at his technique. Hands on him, both hands on him. He forces the slip because he's trying to shake him off. I love the physicality. Now, that's not Addison. And you say, well, that's that's Jordan, that's not Jordan Addison. He couldn't do that to Jordan Addison. Hold my beer. Addison right here. Stay on the ground, son. Pancake on the defensive side. No, the fourth fourth receiver taken in the draft. Yeah, he slipped a little bit, but then I'm going to go ahead and take you out to play. You ain't getting back up. Stay down there. Go somewhere else, Caleb Williams. You ain't coming to Addison. I love the physicality. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Now, my two cents on Caillou Blue Kelly, I really like this kid. I liked him a lot more than I thought I would. Being a fifth-round pick, is he... A top tier corner? No. But I like his skill set. I like his physicality. I really love his technique in off man and in man. He, it was a play on that I didn't put from the U, at UCLA game that he was playing off man and the receiver sunk his hips to break down. He sunk his hips with his, he didn't necessarily have a T step, but his jab step. And as the DB broke back, he broke back two times faster. So he closed the space just as fast. And I probably should have put that one on there. But I really like him in, in off man. I like him. Impress man as long as it's not a, a go route. Um in in zone coverage, he does a good job of communicating. He's you already know he's smart because he went to Stanford. So he looks like he looks to have football smarts also. I really like Caillou Blue Kelly. Is he's going is he gonna get in the lineup over J A D or Pepe? I don't know. Especially with the addition of Rocky Sin. But I like the pick for the value. A fifth round guy. I like what I see out of a fifth round guy, especially watching him versus Addison. And, you know, obviously Addison, Addison beat him that one play. Take that one play out. The rest of the tape looks good to me. So, um, Caillou Blue Kelly, you know, I'm cool with it. It's, it's, it's a good pick in my eyes. Uh, I think next up is our edge rusher from Ole Miss, and we'll start working on that tomorrow. Again, appreciate everybody for coming out. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Thank you guys again for getting me to 8K. Um, it's only up from here. Uh, if you want to support the channel, please do so in the PayPal, Patreon, or Cash App, all those things are in the description. Uh, if you join the basic tier of Patreon, you get into the Fantasy Football League and the Discord, where, where we talk ball all the time. If you join the Gunsling or above, you'll get the uh, Purple Kool-Aid Chalice that you see us use on Mondays. And um, hopefully everybody join that, get their chalice, and so by the time we have real games, we can all toast it up before the game. So again, I appreciate you guys, and I'm going to get the UDFA grades out this weekend. I'm going to work on some stuff for that to try to put out a nice film for you and um again i'll see you guys again tomorrow with the edge guy from old miss i can't remember his name right now and uh, we'll probably do the patreon and the youtube copy tomorrow at some point no no call in show tomorrow so that should allow me to work a little faster but i appreciate you guys and i appreciate about on the call in show too shout out to y'all shout out to y'all and again when you get the notification go to the comment section hit noti game we're going to start shouting you guys out. Hashtag know the game. We're going to start shouting you guys out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Peace out.